Yeah, it's going to be different. Uh, you know, I feel like I was in a very much still like a learning role the last couple of years um, and going to embrace this new opportunity, but it also helps a lot having having Robert in there and, and having him. And, you know, he's got so much experience that even though I've been here the longest, maybe me and Cody, Cody probably got me by a couple of years, but uh, he's just got so much experience that he's still got a lot to bring to the table. So reaction when you found out AJ was traded and how much of an opportunity does that present for you? Yeah, I mean, I was shocked. Um, I feel like most of us were. Um, but yeah, the first thing was like, wow, like really wasn't expecting it. Um, I'm happy, you know, he's getting paid, you know, the money, money he needs and that he deserves. And then, you know, the next thing is like, all right, well, you know, that, that leaves a big opportunity for me and just kind of like raises that extra level of attention to detail going into this offseason. You talked to him afterwards, and if so, what did you guys talk about? Yeah, I haven't talked to him yet. I sent him a text. I, I figured his phone's pretty pretty crazy right now, so I'll try to reach out again later. What have you done maybe the last couple of months, maybe getting ready for the offseason for another start as far as looking back at the tape, kind of preparing yourself for 2022? Uh, yeah, just, I mean, being more complete receiver, um, making those big time plays that we need. You know, I can look back and think of a couple of plays that come to mind where, you know, I make that play in the game has a totally different outcome. Uh, first one comes to mind is just like the Steelers game, like catch that go ball and run under it and don't trip and fall and go score. And that's a whole different ball game. Uh, and so just having that mentality of, of understanding what's needed um, and, and what I want to bring to the table this year. Much yeah. Yeah, it's been great talking with him. Um, you know, obviously he's he's a great leader already, just in our receiver room. Um, you know, and and now that AJ's gone, like he understands the role that he has and been really good, willing to, you know, give us advice. You know, also acceptive of like us asking questions and just been a great you know leader and teacher so far. You were the top seed in the AFC. You guys were Super Bowl contenders. Without AJ, you still feel like you're Super Bowl contenders? I mean, yeah, we, you can't not think that. I mean, if, if we're in the NFL, like, you got to come in every year thinking you're a Super Bowl contender regardless of who you got. You just got to prepare and expect to do that. I feel like that's shorting yourself, shorting the league, shorting the fans if you don't really strive to do that. What do you hope to accomplish, I guess, during the early court offseason program? What are some things you're working on uh, with Ryan and maybe the rest of the guys? Yeah, I mean, I like like I said before, it's just you know being consistent, uh, just being more explosive. I feel like you know, working on getting yards after catch, making contested catches, getting separation, just being a more complete receiver overall, and, and more, most importantly, just be gaining, continue to gain that trust with Ryan uh, going into this season. More yards after the catch, like what are the things you can do to become more explosive, yeah. as you say? I mean, part of it's in the weight room, um, you know, just being more explosive, working on explosive drills. And then I feel like just a mentality of, you know, after you catch a ball, finish to the end zone or, you know, make a, make act like you're making someone miss. I mean, you can't get a full, you know, live rep against someone, but you can do as much as you can so that when those live reps, reps come, you've already kind of trained your mind, trained your body how to do that. Like that level of comfort catching the football that, that, that you could get to? Because I know it's been, a, a you know, from the first year, yeah. a bit of a struggle. Last year, it, it went well. Do you feel there's another level which could help you accelerate through the catch and get the yards after the catch? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like I, we've talked about it before, like that first year was, was a struggle big time. And I feel like as the year went on last year, uh, just built more and more trust. And that just made me feel more and more confident when the ball was thrown my way. Uh, so just going to continue to roll with that and just carry that momentum. Have they asked you, the receivers, the team, to do anything different in the, in the time between the end of the playoffs and now that might have a bearing on soft tissue injuries, a change in approach? Uh, not specifically. I mean, Frank's, you know, the guys that have been here, you know, I can speak for that, like just, you know, doing everything we can to build strong hamstrings and, you know, just take that extra time, you know, away, you know, when we're not here to, to take care of that, whether it's getting the cold tub, hot tub, massage, everybody's got a different system to, to take care of their body and just figuring that out and being a professional and understanding what it takes for you to take care of your body. How much you know about, I guess, Trey Burge, Kyle Phillips, some of the new guys, and, and I guess at this point in your career, are you, are you somebody that will help those guys like maybe Robert Woods 
has helped you? Yeah. Um, I mean, I I don't I really don't watch that much college football to be honest, but I know they're good players, and you know they they wouldn't get drafted if they weren't. Uh, so I'm just excited to bring you know more guys into our room. But I mean, I regardless of if I'm been here for three years or it was my first year, like last year, I felt like I. I tried to help Dez and Racy as much as I could because they would look to me for questions knowing I was just in their shoes the year before. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be helpful to whoever comes and, you know, just try to try to do what I can to help the team win and, and prepare those guys to be out there on the field. You said Robert Woods has been a really good teacher so far. What have you learned from him so far? Yeah, I mean, there was a bunch of little, like, small details and routes or, you know, just understanding a coverage or demeanor of DBs. Uh, just little tips and tricks that you know we can carry out onto the field and onto game day, or into practice first. But and and just see how it works. And he's I've seen you know his film and understand what he's done. So just seeing someone that walks the walk, basically. Your, your role has kind of gradually increased over the past couple of years, and it was almost kind of like a pleasant surprise. It seemed like to add into what mm -hmm. AJ and other guys were doing. Do you feel like now that it's it's kind of on you? You don't get to grow anymore. You've just kind of have to produce in every way? Yeah, somewhat. Uh, and I feel like I've been in this position before. Um, it's kind of funny, like, this kind of same cycle has happened before in, in high school where, you know, I didn't really do much for my freshman year. We had a dog at receiver uh, my sophomore year, and then he transferred, and it was like, all right, like, you got to step up. Uh, in college, it was a similar thing. Didn't really play much freshman year. Sophomore year, we had a dude, he got hurt, and then I had to step up. And so, I've been in that situation before, um, and so I just kind of embrace it now, understanding that I've done it before, and it gives me that extra confidence. What else is the early playoff exit, if at all, a topic of conversation around here still these days? Guys still mad about it? Yeah, I mean, 100%. I don't think there's anybody in here that isn't mad about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's still on top of mind. What are some of the ways you feel that Ryan is a, a good leader? Mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest thing is just he's very clear uh, and concise with his, with his communication. So we know exactly what he wants from us uh, as receivers. And then he also, like I said before, like he walks the walk. He's not like he's pushing, conditioning. He's always up there running with us. And more than anything, like just, I see him do exactly what he's holding us to do. And so he's not slacking in the ways that he's asking us to be accountable, if that makes sense. You pushing conditioning the last two weeks? What was that? He wasn't pushing conditioning the last two weeks, was he? I mean, I, I don't know what he was doing, but I'm sure he was working because he showed up to work and he's been in, been in condition so far. So 